Yes. Hello. Hello, Paris. Thai Paris is, is back. The talk are back. We are live stream. I hope from your computer somewhere in the world you are able to follow us uh, via the internet. So we are very happy to receive again uh, the type talk at Le Tank in Paris, uh, near La Bastille. The next time you are in Paris, you will be welcome with a seat here with everybody. And tonight we have Camille, uh, Camille Gallet near me who will present uh, the event tonight. So Camille, we know each other since a few years now because you are part of the Master of Typographic Design at ECV. You teach um, typography, layout, some book design. book design. Yes, thanks for your help. <laughs> and um, also, Camille um, uh, found um, Atelier 3. You are, you are three, four people working there. Uh, we are just two people. Two uh, people. <laughs> At you the beginning, we were three, but now after a few years, we are just two people. Now two people. You keep it. Ah, yes, Atelier 3, it's three. Ah, it's a good trick. Okay. I know an agency called uh, Atelier, no, quatre, but there are three yeah. founders, so it's an habit tonight. So I give you that, and it's your turn. Okay, thanks. So it's my turn now. I'm very happy and proud to introduce the first type talk of this new type session. I'm also a little bit nervous because I have to say it's my first public talk in English. So, excuse me, because I'm perhaps a little bit reading. This evening, we are privileged to have with us François Morel and Marina Chacour. Both are professionals of the design scene Coming from distant countries, Francois is from Paris, so not so far away, and Marina is from São Paulo in Brazil. She lives in The Hague and is directly coming from New York. They both share an unconditional love from, for unlettering. Their meticulous and precise work implies a particular sense of time that one can kind of feel while observing their design. Our first guest this evening is François Morel. François is a French sign painter born in, okay, so we have to do it, 1974 and working in Paris. <laughs> His artistic career is unusual. After studying fine arts and art history, he started a self-made graphic designer career at the end of the 90s. Working mainly for music industry, he designed record artworks, logos, etc. His, his visual work takes place mainly in urban spaces, represented by words and statements which appear in cities. As a child, he received from his mother a gift, a book about sign painting. Just one, okay. A very important one, perhaps. Since then, his interest for type and lettering never stopped until he finally decided to turn it into a career. In 2013, he created More Science, Morel Enseigne in French, and has been working ever since as a full time sign painter, creating storefronts hand-painted logos, signage, and even bike panels for shops, restaurants, and several brands. Besides, I noticed that bikes play a significant role in Francois's life. From 2010, from, no, from 2010 to 2011, he has been a bicycle courier in Paris, riding through the city and close suburbs. He kept a visual memory of all his daily trajectories by creating GPS drawings. Today, he still carries his design equipment on his cargo bike. I don't know if you came with it tonight. No? Okay. Perhaps too hot. Okay. <laughs> More than just a detail, this choice, this choice is meaningful. 
François Morel is part of a new generation of designers who give a new breeze to craft and manual process. Please welcome warmly François Morel. Hi. Okay, hi. Thanks a lot for inviting me. Um, so, it, um, some things, I <laughs> I've lost all my data like two days ago. So, <laughs> it was quite a rush to get everything. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I would just do like a slideshow now. Um, showing my uh, experience, like my, my career, uh, starting from the graffiti to graphic design and um, now sign painting. Um, so finally, I, g I got back a lot of uh, uh, pictures and blah, blah, blah. So I have a lot of things to show. So maybe I will be quite fast on some pictures, but there are some I will explain the, the process of the work. So. Don't be like, what, it's going too fast. Because I only have like uh, 40 minutes. So this is when I need help. Yeah, tu, tu peux juste, but <laughs> it's all right. Début, ouais, il faut que j'aille tout en haut. Ouais. Ah, il faut toutes les faire. Mmh. Non, ça marche. Euh, si tu slides, ouais. Ouais, c'est bon. Ok, sorry. Ok, so. Back in the early 90s, uh, I was doing like graffitis. This is 92, I was like 18, doing some, trying to do some block letters. Uh, okay, so, fuck. Okay, so, um, I, I was really focused on doing things in the streets and taking a lot of time in some places to do big graffiti pieces. It wasn't really my thing, so I was like doing illegal things and playing with the, Things like that, like going at the, the stop of a bus, taking off the, um, the advertising, going back to home, paint some things, my name, and then put it, put in, uh, put it back on the st in the streets on the bus and just let it go like it was like in the uh, late 70s and early 80s in the US when uh, graffiti started. Um, I will just slide some styles. This is just like showing you my experience of what became like sign painting now, but doing things like that. Tunnels in Paris. This was for a graffiti book. Some, yeah, yeah I, I think it was two or three or something like that. Trucks, the one on the bottom. Oh was uh, was made with brushes and paint and not the usual way as graffiti uh, guys were doing at the moment like everybody was using spray cans and I uh, I was already trying things with rolls and and brushes this is just a typical graffiti more c I guess th th this one is one of the last I did like years ago kind of things like that, funny things. This was in Amsterdam for a demonstration, like a political thing we went with, with my uh, art uh, teacher to go there and then we did something. <laughs> this is the street of Paris, some sketches. 
uh, this one was like that at the beginning, then it became like that, and I just, this is one of my last ones, I guess, it's like uh, eight years ago, just like that, uh, and I wasn't uh, painting since years already. So simple sketches. This was for a book too. This was for, um, this was later, it was for record uh, for the beat nuts. And they wanted something like graffiti on the cover, but finally it, they didn't get, get this design. Uh, we did something really uh, simple with the type. Uh, yeah, it wasn't so. Uh, block letters again in graffiti, we were calling that like the co cowboy uh, style. <coughs> this is in the street again. So this is Oxmo Puccino for the Frenchies. We know the guy, it's a French rapper, and we did a some things for him, like uh, LPs, and we put our uh, tags with a friend on the top of the picture. So, uh, so this was in the 90s, and at the end of the, of the 90s, I, wat I was at the um, art university, and then I started to do, to stop the graffiti and do some art, uh, art um, works in the streets, using words and typographies and but the same way, uh, um, illegal, I the illegal way, uh, posting, doing, doing the words on posters and really cheap way and, and post posting them on the streets. So this is the same process finally, but I was posting the, the text straight on the, on the bus. It was um, a series uh, about uh, say, saying beware uh, and all the thing of Big Brother thing and uh, surveillance. So this is written in French, but it's written beware. They watch everything, every move you make. This is a, s a sticker series. I put a lot on cameras and blah, blah, blah. This is a, an electronic billboard on the old one on the Montparnasse uh, tower. I, they, they, were, they, were, they were like advertising rolling and then there was this number. Uh, if you want to have your ad, just call, call us. So I called the guy, he was a kind of nerdy guy in a really small, it, it was like a, in, a, in a movie scene, like in a, in a really nerdy guy in a small thing, a huge guy, and I, I explained my, my project, and he was so, yeah, let's do something funny. So it's a kind of act, because he didn't ask to his uh, boss to do that, and then I just paid him like that, and then we put it, and it stayed like one week. It was cool. Uh, I have some videos. So this is the same series in the Nova Mag. Uh, it was a, it's an old magazine now, but there was there were like this uh, announcement. I don't know the the word, and I put my uh, attention. This is the Big Brother thing again. The same sentence there, because I knew a guy working there. So the same way he put he put that with. Uh, uh, no, without asking to his boss, and I didn't pay him. He just said, "Okay, let's do that. It's funny." So I did this one um, in front of the uh, yeah, big stores. It was, it's written, um, you are a prisoner of the system. You are in the matrix, in a way. Uh, same thing in with stickers. This is uh, uh, against uh, ex extreme right uh, wing uh, thing. Uh, using, once again, like kind of uh, Typography you can find in uh, in those signage in the streets, like uh, official ones. Uh, this was really later, like maybe uh, ten or fifteen years ago. No, this is uh, this is written there. Yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, this was for a kind of exhibition, uh, like a street art thing, and message was w message was like saying, okay, this is a public space, but finally we are surrounded by a, a lot of rules, so. This was funny to play once again with the codes and uh, and saying, yeah, the, the playing with words. So this is the same process uh, as posting like the illegal way on the bottom of the buses. It's uh, during an exhibition in Rennes fr in France and this was like, okay, let's make a stop in the, all the advertising uh, we have every everywhere. So I did this one illegally too. We went with some students to uh, paint the whole billboard in white during the night, and then when it was uh, dry, we we put the poster back, but on the top, I guess. Uh, 
This is the same thing in the subway in Paris because sometimes you had no advertising on some sp some spots. So there was one like in Republic, so I went there. This is a hack uh, of the alarm signage, and this is the same way of thinking. Like, okay, we we don't care. We can just ring the guy and say, okay, uh, what what the with the the metro, it's not coming or something. I don't know. Just protest and do it. So this is in a Festival d'Avignon. Uh, there were a, a lot of um, demonstrations regarding the some rights and blah 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 uh, during this uh, period. Everybody was in. St th there were big strikes. So I was invited for an exhibition, and finally I once again used some uh, codes of the do-it-yourself uh, prote prote protesting things. So I uh, just took some uh, cardboard. Um, uh, bit some things and and do uh, and did a stencil on it saying okay uh, where is the struggle and uh, where is the victory and the funny thing in Avignon is when it's the festival it's uh, totally a, a big mess in the streets with all the posters uh, so it, this was funny to put some political things in the middle of that so this is a more poetic one uh, it's not so crazy, I mean, regarding the, the typo or something, but it was uh, all, all the, the work I did were, um, were really in the context of the space. I mean, there it's just a banner with a, with a type like quite condensed and I, I thought it would be really cool to have it like really uh, readable. And so I don't know if I have to uh, translate it, but I lost hours uh, trying to uh, save some. So this is a project uh, called uh, Ak Beseder, and once again, it's political words and using the ABC thing. Uh, and I did a lot of cheap posters with the this font. So yeah, this is Place de la Bastille, Streets of Paris. I did the same thing in Berlin some years ago for an exhibition. I, uh, okay, GoPro wasn't, uh, wasn't there uh, yet because I'm old. So I had this uh, camcorder, I did some wire uh, trick and bought um, a small spy uh, camera and I put it on my hand. And the idea was uh, I did the Agbeseder 2. It was the same process but uh, English words. So, um, Back in the exhibition, I was showing the movie of the, the st sticking in the streets, and you could get a free um, package with all the stickers for f uh, yeah, for free. So you could uh, stick them in the streets. This is it. Uh, this is a more poetical one too. It was um, okay. I'm, I'm always playing with words, so I don't really know how to translate this one, but maybe someone can help me or someone, but uh, something. But anyway, uh, I did this thing, and finally it was uh, lead, you know, lead, lead. I don't know how to you say that, so quite heavy uh, to put it on, and, and I put it on in at the bottom of the sea. So there it was, uh, Sentences, okay, uh, leaving traces, and it was on a beach, and it's like 15, yeah, it was, it, it was like 10 meters long, I guess. And I did, I, uh, I, I wrote the um, sentence with the f things I thought on the, I, um, I found on the, on the beach, like stones, but uh, mainly with all the, the shit people are living on the, s on the beaches, so. And I was quite um, on, the, on the hill to, to get this picture. So this is why it's a bit blurry, but it's quite huge. So this was a, a cook eye ad advertising and they just did this picture and I took again this sentence, uh, leaving traces uh, to play with the picture finally. This was for an exhibition. Uh, it was a really trendy one. So I, I, I didn't really like back in the days this, uh, this uh, street art and I think as we say hype now, but this was a wordplay with the public enemy uh, 
title with and, and IP is then the same uh, same word in the, in their uh, in their uh, track. But anyway, it was funny to play with that. Uh, this was during the uh, second uh, Gulf War. Uh, it's it's written potential target as uh, at the beginning it was uh, anyway all the war was like was like that. But it was a terrible mess for the civilians and blah 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 so this is a Brittany ball series uh, it's 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 usually really Frenchy names on on the on those balls but I I, I thought some things has to change now so I it speaks by itself I guess so this is a series on paper uh, t uh, t uh, paper tissues. It's uh, with uh, old small stems. It's a more uh, poetical way of working. So this was for a drawing uh, uh, exhibition, and once again they invited me, but I just wanted to p uh, to work with words and. Uh, doing like and writing things. So this was for an exhibition in uh, Grand Palais called uh, La Force de l'Art, the first one. Uh, once again, it's handwritten. This is in the streets in Paris, and it's written um, uh, tomorrow, uh, yesterday will be today. And it, it, this is something uh, you can, it's circular, so you can have the, the 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 thing was to uh, play with the the idea of you, it's never stopping. Everything is like today or tomorrow. It won't. It, it will be the same. Okay. So there, uh, I was invited in Po in France for an exhibition, and uh, I went in the main park to take some. Uh, I went in the streets to find something to do uh, regarding the context of the city, and in the the main park, I. I took some pictures of uh, those things on the trees and did a, a huge installation with movies and uh, those uh, two screens you can see there on uh, blue and there uh, were like uh, videos with words, memory and existence. So anyway, you can, s you can see uh, it's speaking by itself too, it's disappearing. And all the, the um, pictures I took were um, uh, were uh, neons, neon lights. So this is the same sentence for uh, uh, La Force de l'Art in the Grand Palais. So we were uh, like a group of artists on the same spot, and we were having like one week uh, per uh, guy. And the the first one was. Uh, Posting a big pictures like a screen printing one, and I uh, I cut the, my sentence in the things uh, after um, painting everything in black. And you had like uh, political messages on screen and uh, newspapers on the on the floor. I have to be fast. Okay, this is my uh, graphic design stuff, like a selection. So this was my first one for a French rapper. Uh, it was funny, it was for Virgin, so we have a ki yeah, kind of budget, so we did like a limited uh, edition. You, you, had, you, have, you had to cut the, cut the rope to, uh, to open the CD. Uh, I have so many stories about this album, but I guess I don't have the time. So this was the um, Flaps. This is the, um, the inlay with the CD, so the, the wrapper is, in, is there on the left. And, et voila. So this, this was for the um, advertising campaign. The first week we had those big posters in the subway and the first week it was saying, okay, uh, something will happen. And then the second week it was on the same spot, this one, so imagine what you want, but I guess the pig is someone political here. 
So this was like a guerrilla marketing, street marketing with like uh, cheap posters saying political things and this is the same artist for the same album. This is just playing with like, uh, this is my alarm clock, so this is a French rapper too and I just did some new letters. Some projects, some project. This is French rappers too. Every time we try to, at the beginning I was with two other friends uh, during three years and so this is one of the, uh, them we did uh, together and we always try to have those flaps things to do. It, it's finally kind of a graffiti because it's you have to, to read from the left to the side with uh, like weird designs. This is another style. Another one, so once again, it's like end painted, but it's fake. This was funny, it was for a promotional one, so it was, uh, the title was Pum Pum Short, so we, I, I did some like uh, fake uh, blue jean thing and uh, la la uh, this label is, uh, is the Levis button. This is for placebo, it's uh, for meds, so it was, like a medical uh, medic uh, box. Once again, playing with the plane ticket. There, I took some neon uh, pictures and re rewrote the the name of the artist. This is a funny one, but it's not really interesting. But there is a funny story. But I can't speak about that. I guess there was a. a a cool concept behind and some friends told him the way uh, the day before I sent everything to the factory to print okay but look you are in the water you will uh, they will call you a uh, fishy you know so we we, we finish like puff daddy so anyway <laughs> so this is like end written too for a compilation uh, this is once again a end process uh, to like back in the days taking a Xerox uh, print of the, a picture and using some uh, liquid on it on a, a white paper to make a transfer. Some other style. Once again playing like uh, with this uh, wire. And this is an Art Deco uh, I found this uh, font in a old book and I played with that to do something weird, like l modern but old. This is the same artist. So this is the booklet of the album. Uh, it's once again playing with the context. Uh, it's about, yeah, like it, this was a best of, so. There, it's the same thing. I found some wood uh, wood type uh, prints on, on a book and I played with them and used them as a real font. So those are some uh, logo types and fonts research. There, it was for a fashion brand and they were doing something like a sailor thing, so I went to find some uh, old letters on boats and tried to, 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 do, to do the brand design with that. This is another uh, end uh, written thing for a cycling team, which was mine. This is the first logo on the left, and then some years after that, it became this one. When we did some uh, travel, we, we, do, we did some camping style things too. This is the same process as my uh, art uh, tissue paper thing. Uh, it's handwritten on the, the, the tissue to get this kind of style. This is branding too. Once again, it's handwritten. Those were work after the rock and rolling logo. This is a universal uh, kind of process. Same thing for uh, hold, uh, 
Yeah, old style, like uh, Art Deco. The, the old Pigalle in Paris, they were opening a bar and they wanted something uh, in this style. So it's just a research um, with uh, letters coming from old books uh, for sign painters. This is an illustration. Same thing, covered uh, drawing books with the flaps. Same things. This is a political uh, during the Gulf War II. This is a uh, water, uh, uh, how do you call that, watercolor uh, work. This is a uh, yeah, drawing on uh, and screen printed, illustrations for a big shop in Paris. Uh, political, uh, poetical uh, thing. Something related uh, with the cycling thing. It's an illustration and they did a messenger bag with that which was reflective. This is for a fashion show and it was, uh, the theme was 89 and as they knew that I worked uh, in the musical uh, industry, they wanted me to do something with that, with the music and blah, blah, blah. So I did what I, what I was doing with my friends when we were uh, kids. We were uh, having like vinyl, vinyl records and when they were totally destroyed, we were drawing back the, as we could uh, the cover. So this is what I did. I bought like a really cheap uh, color pencils thing in a, in a supermarket and did really trashy, uh, like uh, not transfer, but finally it's like that. It's quite crappy, but it looks funny. And they printed them uh, as vinyl and you could get some like, as goodies in the fashion show. So this is my sign painting uh, work. It's written ice cream. Do you have ice creams? No, you don't. Uh, I really like the um, whole days. So I really like the distressed uh, distress style. And finally, it's kind of a link with my graphic uh, design uh, career, trying uh, as I could to use like end, end uh, written things and end made things. So this is a funny one. It's reverse glass painting. This is gold leaf gilding on the same uh, coffee shop. And I um, added some snow during the winter. Same thing, this is gold leaf. This is wood carving for a friend. So I found uh, interesting to use this kind of uh, wood, wood type uh, thing to do it on, on the wood. This is uh, like a, tr a truck painting, a barber shop, same barber shop. This is glass, uh, reverse glass painting. This is, uh, those letters are coming from a old uh, signed painter book. So, because it's a kind of, a, yeah, it's a craft what she, she does and it's a whole district in Paris and this is an old front store. I, I thought it was really cool to do this kind of style and she was totally agreeing with that. So I was really happy. So this is my uh, vehicle. I don't have any driving license. It's funny, I'm old, but anyway, this is it with my scaffold. This is a, a Piaggio I painted uh, for um, 3D printing uh, lollipops, uh, lollipop brand. This is it. This is the way you have to work sometimes in the small hole with, it's like painting trends in a yard finally, so pff, it's funny. So this is behind a glass, once again, for a barber shop. This is for the same barber shop, it's process, like distress style. This is it finished. Uh, this is a uh, reverse glass painting with gold leaf gilding and it's two tones gold. The outlines are matte and uh, the inner of the letters are uh, mirror. Uh, this is for a, a shop in uh, the south of France, painting on the outside and gilding on the door. This is for a burger uh, joint in, in Paris. 
They wanted something like not the menu with the prices, but a kind of pop illustration on the top showing uh, all the things they are uh, selling. They are, so when I was there to do this kind of thing, I said, okay, you have to, uh, we have to paint something on the glass. You have a brick wall, it's, uh, it's so cool. It's like the US, you have to do like a stem thing like this rest. So finally, I painted all the shop. So that's cool. This is for uh, Empreinte, uh, big shop in Paris. This is for a uh, fairground in Paris, in Tuileries. So this is another style. So every time I try, if they don't give me the design, I try to uh, to to be close to the, the, the context once again. It's funny to have this kind of uh, letters, as you could see back in the days in the fairgrounds. Uh, even if it's not really, it's like more a cowboy thing, but it's it's working. So this is kind of a sketching process for a friend uh, running a, a tattoo shop. So we did this one. It's um, gold leaf once again with two tones and some uh, mother of pearl uh, inlays, I guess you say. I don't know. We will see that. So this is the process. So this is it finished. You can see the blue things are uh, mother of pearl. Blue one. This is it. Again, this was for Honda. It's not really interesting, but it's uh, anyway. They asked me and four other uh, European artists to do something on their, uh, about their new scooter. And anyway, they, all the guys they they had um, worked on the project since three weeks, and the the Frenchy guy was out. So they asked me, okay, we need someone and. It was too short, so I just said, okay, I'm doing, my work is about letters and logos, so even it was really not my style. I, I proposed them some mix of what I do, uh, meaning like gilding behind glass, uh, working with wood and blah, blah, blah. And by the way, this new scooter is a mix between the city, urban thing, and the countryside because the tires are, are like frosty uh, things. So this is a process uh, for Instagram. They were uh, doing some Frenchy account, like with the um, uh, French uh, speaking countries like Canada, uh, France, and blah, blah, blah. And they were, uh, they, they did this um, découvrir, découvrir Ensemble, Discover Together uh, hashtag, and they wanted to do like an event to launch the, the account. So they asked me to do some handwriting stuff. So I worked on the hashtag and so this is the process and finally this is the one uh, we kept and uh, focus really crappy uh, black ink to scan it and then after that I um, I burned it uh, we we, burn, uh, we I mean the guys uh, running this uh, machine they, we we burned the, the logo on wood this is the process because you will see what's happening after that. It's quite clean. It's amazing, those machines. And I did the icon, the logo. Uh, then the people could, uh, during the event, uh, have it in, the, in the, the ends and do selfies, and then th this will work. This is tint uh, testing. This is the final product, and the, the engraving is um, with gold leaf. It's gilded. So this is it. I kept, I didn't, usually when you do that, you sand everything, and then it's really flat and smooth. But I really like the rough thing because it's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. So this is it when it's, uh, it's, uh, it's varnished there. There, I just show you how, you how we have to work once again. Sometimes it's kind of a yoga, yogi thing. Vincent is helping me, he's a sign painter too, he's there and he's laughing because we do a lot of things together and it's every time it's funny. So this is, uh, this is uh, yeah, like that, like that, like that. It looks like it's cool, but it's like a CrossFit thing and it's, I'm, I'm old, so it's not so easy. So this was for a, 
restaurant in Paris, and it's a mix between uh, Indian food, um, North African food, and uh, Af uh, yeah, African food. Yeah. So you have uh, Al Algerian things, and yeah, a lot of a lot of cool um, cool food. And then I propose the guy the guys to mix those uh, really strong uh, visual culture. I mean, in India or Africa, it's so colorful. There are crazy, crazy end lettering things. So this is a mix of the, m finally, a menu. And some, this is their uh, baseline. It's like a distressed uh, thing. This is the stairs. It's written love with different languages. Some sign signage uh, outside. Uh, Vincent helped me on that one. So this is for a bar in Pigalle. Uh, they wanted to do something and the design was like Art Deco, so I proposed them to do it with, uh, it's like silver leaf, but technically it's, uh, we can't use that outside because it's, I don't know the name in English, but it's, uh, it's a soak seed. So you have to use uh, the uh, material called um, uh, palladium. So this is the same thing, but anyway, it was quite cool with an Art Deco style. This is for another bar, same guys, another place, and it's their logo. So it's reverse glass painting, all the blue and black things you see, and those gray, but it's quite uh, white, but uh, the outlines are in uh, palladium leaves too. It's, it's a gilding. So this is for a burger joint, once again. This is a yogi yoga thing too, we did it together, I guess this is our, our, our thing. So it was for an hotel in Chamonix, and we had to, I don't remember, like hundreds of things, it's, it's a Pac-Man thing on the, on the ceiling, so we spent hours to do that, and we went back totally, uh, die. We, we, we died there. So we had to, uh, we were supposed to have a scaffold. We didn't have any scaffold. We were supposed to have lights, but we were, 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 work, were working like that in the dark with like uh, lights uh, on, the, on, on the head. This is the sentence, it's from uh, Lana Del Rey. It's there because they have like a video games uh, corner. So this is details of the, um, of the ceiling, which is quite funny finally, but it was not so funny to do. This is a, a restaurant in Paris, once again, like a distressed uh, render. This is it. Finally, they did this logo for five euros on the web. All those companies uh, stealing our job, finally. So that was cool to do some distressed thing to, to get some style, I guess. But yeah, it could have been worse, by the way, regarding the design for five euros. So this is uh, one of the, um, the one I really love because it's in my district and I'm living there since I'm a kid and it's uh, Sleepers Factory, it's, it's Sleeper, yeah? And it's on the, so anyway, I, I received this email from the guy and the guy told me, okay, look, I have this on the, on the, um, the wall outside and we are uh, painting everything new and we, we have to keep that because it was a, Sleepers Factory back in the days, and it's like the patrimoine from the district, you know. So I, and when I received that, it was like uh, one of the jobs you want to do in your life. I mean, for me, because I knew this one, and as a old signs uh, collector, I'm taking a lot of uh, taking a lot of pictures in the streets. I really knew this one, so I was so happy. So I went there. I had to. Uh, keep the design, the, the, the old one, and repaint it. Uh, yeah, this is it. It's cool. It's really classical, but it, I, I, I kept everything, all the, the mistakes between letters, the spaces, everything is really the same. The guy, the guy wanted the same thing, so yeah, I wasn't there to say, okay, look at the E and the U and the Q, so I, I kept everything like that, and it's cool. So this, this was samples for some clients uh, some months ago. It's once again, glass painting and gilding. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> he is laughing because it's, uh, 
really pin in the ass process there. It's called glue chip. Uh, to make it quite fast, it's you use some thing and you lay some product on the glass, on the behind, and when it's drying, it's breaking the the glass, uh, leaving like uh, some uh, shapes like uh, snowflakes. And then when you gild that after that, it's like that. It's kind of saloon thing. So the black is uh, reverse glass painting. You have a uh, mirror outline with a 23K gold leaf and everything is 23K, but yeah, anyway, yeah, you see it. There it's the same thing. It's glass painting with gold leaf. There too. This is for uh, another restaurant. Once again, distress style. It's uh, veggie, ja, uh, Restaurant, and this is this is a uh, it's finished. Okay, I guess uh, yeah, I have to finish anyway. So this is a personal project I do. Uh, I take a lot of pictures of old signs, and I really like all the when the shops are closing, they do this uh, white paint thing on the on the windows, and so I'm playing with uh, real pictures I took real uh, baseline like that, which is uh, in English, it's uh, everything must go. And all those um, type codes, because this one was really used in, f in France anyway, uh, during, uh, yeah, back in the days. So it's, it's, it's funny to play with that. And so I do some small uh, shop windows, in fact. So uh, Usually the, the glass is clear, you have, you have nothing, there, there is a blue paper behind, but it, the, 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 it's a series and it's clear. This is an old shop in, in the 18th district, and anyway, the name was funny, and this was the paint when you do, you were doing like uh, neon lights, uh, back in the day they were uh, paintings, uh, painting the same uh, same design behind on the on the on the wall or on the the wood thing, and then they were uh, adding the letters on the top. So I kept the design. It's it's exactly the same design of the painting when the neon wa was broken, and you you see it's really crappy. So, but this is the thing I I like, you know. And there, I hope it's not finished, but <laughs> yeah. This is just to say bye bye, you know? I guess it's finished, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Francois. Thank you. Uh, do you have any questions uh, to start? <coughs> no? Not yet? Too shy, perhaps? <laughs> okay. Marina? <laughs> no, because you showed a lot of work, and then some of them you said, oh, but it, I cannot talk about this because I don't have time. Like, I was wondering if you could talk a bit more about that first CD cover you did. It's like, oh, there's so many stories about the rapper. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I f I'm, yeah, I'm afraid if I come back on the thing, I will do a mess. But yeah, anyway, uh, work. Uh, I, I grew up with the hip hop thing, and I'm still like, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm listening to. Uh, every kind of music but the rap thing was really in my culture so uh, this was funny back uh, w when I was 12 I knew I wanted to do uh, logo types work with letters and the funny thing is that that's too bad because I still have it but I didn't take any picture but I still have my uh, exam when I was like 18 uh, baccalaureate I think you know I was in a hard school kind of and my uh, personal project was like uh, uh, we had to do like uh, 30 boards of the something personal you and this was a record um, uh, a, a James Brown record with uh, it, it was a box with four CDs already so and finally I did graphic design mainly in the music industry and the thing is yeah it was funny to uh, have the, the first jobs were for the rap music French French one ones I, 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 um, and the thing is it was the golden age when I started for the French rap so 
uh, that, that was cool to see some guys younger than me uh, already stars and then I was working for them. So I, w it, yeah. And this one was <laughs> particular, uh, particular I, I don't know how to say that, but particularment um, uh, difficult to manage. And uh, yes, we, I, I should go back on this thing, but I don't know. The guy yeah, the guy, yeah. Okay. So when I was at the university, I, I had this guy in my uh, classroom. He was doing graffiti. So we became friends, and uh, this rapper was living in his building. And he asked him to uh, work on his uh, second album design. But we, we weren't a graphic designer yet. And I knew, I, I had another friend a bit older, he was a graphic designer too, and already, I mean, and then uh, we went uh, to him to, uh, to tell him, okay, we have this big project, it's a cool artist, and this is for Virgin Music. Uh, would, you like to ex um, would you like to work with us on that? And then we could have like a, an apprenticeship in graphic design finally, because if we work with you, we, work, we will learn how to use the computer and blah, blah, blah. So this is how I, I learned to, to use the computer and blah, blah, blah. And when we did this, uh, th this was in 97, uh, 97, yeah? But the record was uh, released two or three years after that. And so during this, this really long period, we had crazy stories. So yeah, so I don't remember when, uh, thank you, where I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is one, but it's really bad. Yeah, it's like painting trends. You don't have to do that. But uh, we needed this uh, guillotine thing, and there is uh, just one uh, museum in Paris having one. So we went to a rental place, but it wasn't possible. I don't really remember. But anyway, we went to this uh, museum and one with one of the two guys, and we were at the library, and they were having like this... Uh, or series, you know, a uh, magazine, a big one, uh, around the, uh, speaking about the museum with uh, all the catalog of the thing. And <laughs> there, there was a, I don't know why we did that, but there was a full page with, with this picture, like a really beautiful picture, you know? And we were like, wow. But I don't know, because if I think right now, it was nothing, you know, we just had to buy it. I don't, why, I don't know why we did that, but we came back with a, um, a, a, a blade, you know, an exacto, and we were like, like hiding from the cameras, and we just cut the, cut the, wow, oh shit, we cut the, 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 the thing, and we bring it back, and did a, an illegal scan of it, and this is it. So I guess now I'm, I won't have trouble, but this is one of the funny stories. Yes, uh, but with this guy, we had crazy stories, like going uh, he, he, back in the days. If I'm not, if if I'm not wrong, he bought back. Uh, like not Johnny Hallyday's uh, big star uh, manager's house in the countryside. So we went, we went there, and <laughs> there was this. Uh, this was a crazy house, and in the garden there, wa he was having a, a really uh, huge pit bull, and it was. Uh, they, they they put a rope rope around his neck and to the tree, and so he, when he arrived, he said to the manager, "What did you do that to my dog?" And he said, "Look, the, the, he, he just jumped this afternoon on, on the neighbor's horse, horse you know." So th there were crazy, crazy stories, and I, I think finally I uh, quit this um, this industry because of that. Because after 15 years, it's like you are a graphic designer, you do some art direction, you are waiting for hours and hours and nights in uh, record studios to take pictures of guys never coming. And it's fights and crazy thing, plus all the process with the major, the, mana the, yeah, the management, the, uh, all the things. So yeah, this is it. Well, yeah, we had, we had yeah, crazy yeah, stories with her. Yeah, I can tell, but anyway, this was, this was, yeah, this was really political. And back in the days, it was quite crazy. And for the release of the album, we they were um, they wanted to do s a big release in the Virgin Music, uh, Virgin Megastore shop, which was on the Champs Elysees. And when you enter this shop, you have a really big circle with a lot of uh, a lot of records, you know, the brand new released. And we wanted to have this uh, guillotine thing in the middle, 
and have um, a lot of uh, really tough guys like that, dressed like that, around with all the things, the you know, the all the records there. And so, but they never allowed us to do that because they knew that it, it was kind of weird and there will be like a mess and so so on. Yeah, I get, I'm getting old, but yeah, if, if I speak too much, I will yeah, have uh, too many stories with the rappers. <laughs> Are there perhaps other questions? No. no. It works, yes. Microphone, any question? Yes. Just uh, one more on the Doc Gineco uh, campaign. Were you behind the idea of the, um, like the copywriting and the picture as well? Like the heads will roll uh, and the pig head, uh, yeah, that one. Ah, do you mean the art direction? Yeah, the art uh, direction we did everything, everything, yeah. Yeah, we did everything. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that, was, uh, that, that was cool because finally they we thought it it would be too political, but he, he was he, he was kind of a funny guy, like that. But he yeah. wasn't funny at all. You 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 can't mess with him. So when we proposed that, he was he was crazy about that. And by the way, the two cheap posters, really political with his ID, it was its ID, and he wanted something like that. And finally, it's it's not so crazy because when you, in this context, when you you have a big guy like that selling a lot of records that back in the days he was. Uh, the major company said, okay, let's go, <laughs> let's do a mess, you know. The, the major wanted to do this thing in Virgin Megastore, but this is the Virgin Megastore security thing, which uh, didn't allow us to do that. But that in the subway, it was, I, I, I guess it's one of my best projects, finally. It's the first one, but it was so crazy. We had those really huge posters in the subway Back in the days, it was really expensive, and we had uh, yes uh, a big network and the uh, same spots for two weeks with two posters, and yeah, everything was working. So it was really cool. And by the way, this this is a compilation with a lot of really known uh, French rapper. Uh, I mean, from this period, by uh, by the way. But yeah, yeah we we Thank just you. yeah <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, and the for, for the for the just one thing for the. Uh, there were two releases. There, are, there was like this one with the rope. And by the way, to have that back in the days, it's uh, a lot of money for for rap rap thing. So we had a lot of samples coming from London. Nobody was uh, was okay with that. And finally, we weren't really uh, happy with the result because it's quite fake. The the red stamp, the wax thing. But it's funny. But yeah, anyway, you know all the process as graphic designers. You can get everything. But this was quite cool to have all those uh, things. We had the vinyl, different uh, kind of designs. It was crazy, yeah. A lot of budget, by the way. But anyway. I have a question for you. Is uh, In the beginning of your presentation, you have a lot of political um, words about society yeah. on thing like that and at the end of the presentation you have a lot of lettering about American life <laughs> burger and everything yeah. or to oh you are able to to deal with such so contrasted aspect of your life uh, to be against yeah. and to work for in same time yeah, but this is the big thing you know yeah if if you want to be a real uh, a real guy against everything. You go naked in the street, and by the way, you live in the forest, you know? <laughs> so this is my dream, but yeah. It's, I don't really like to be naked, you know? So <laughs> so yeah, 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 but you you know that this is a joke ask, asking me that, because yeah, we- For we, sure yeah. it's a joke. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, this is a pro But by the way, I don't, <laughs> I don't do uh, sentences like that in the streets now. No, but yeah. But look, the, the first graphic design project was really political, finally. Yeah, for sure. So, I'm okay. Okay, sorry. I, I More question? Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Um, <laughs>